Hello everyone, this is Jimmy Pena from CodeForExcelAndOutlook.com and this is my first Excel video tutorial. What I'm going to show you today is my bingo number generator which is written in Excel VBA. So I'm going to jump straight into the Visual Basic Editor and I've created a user form it's really just a list box inside a frame and there are two command buttons one to choose a number and one to reset the form so let's go through and look at some of VBA code and see what exactly is going on here first the reset button very simple all we do is call the clear method on the list bingo numbers list box and that empties out the list box for example, when you want to start a new game or restart, uh, restart a game. And there's the choose number button. And the choose number button is a bit more complicated, so I'll go through it step by step. First, we're going to check and see if all possible bingo numbers have been chosen. And the way we do that is we check the list count property of the list bingo numbers list box and if it equals 75 that means all possible bingo numbers have been chosen I don't think there's any way possible that no one could have bingo at that point but uh, at least uh, we can stop the code from executing so assuming we continue we don't have a full list box we need to make a decision because we have two different actions we can take either there's nothing in the list box already in which case we just need to generate a new uh, new letter number combination or the list box already has some members in it so we're gonna check if list bingo numbers list count property is greater than zero in other words there's already some entries in the list box we're gonna build a string a comma delimited string consisting of those members. Now, then I'm going to use a do loop to generate a new letter number combination, a bingo number, and then compare it against the string we created to see if it's already there. And I use the in string method to check if the string that we just generated here from the generate bingo function is already found inside string existing which is the string of comma delimited members of the list box if the value is zero that means it is new it's a unique number what I used was a uh, boolean variable b is unique set it to true and the condition of the do loop is to do while false so once that is set to true then we simply add the value of that temporary string using the add item method into the list bingo numbers list box otherwise if the list bingo numbers list count is equal to zero that means there's nothing there then any number we select is going to be unique therefore I just run the generate bingo function and use the add item method to add it to the list bingo numbers list box then what I do to make it easier to read is I select or I set the selected property to true for the highest number in the list box which is list count minus one that way when you select a new uh, when you click this button and select a new number it automatically scrolls down to the bottom otherwise the list box stays at the top and you have to constantly scroll down to the bottom very unprofessional and uh, just makes it a lot harder to use so I always select the last number let's look at the generate bingo function 
The generate bingo function just generates a random number, kind of like ran between. In between numbers 1 and 75, it generates a random number. And if the number is between 1 and 16, it picks a B. If it's between 16 and 30, it selects I. If it's uh, between 31 and 45, it selects the letter N. If it's between 46 and 60, it's the letter G, and 61 to 75, the letter O. And then it just mashes them up together and assigns it to the generate bingo, which is a function that returns a string value. And that is it. I used a separate routine to start the actual form. I named my form form bingo and create a new instance of the form class, set my variable to that instance, and then just use the show method to show the form. So if I can select anywhere in here and press F5 to run the form, and you can see what happens when I click choose number it's going to check and see if there's any members here. If not, it's just going to call the generate bingo function. If there are already members, which there will be when I click it again, it's going to build that string. It's going to compare the newly generated value against the existing values. And if it is a dupe, it will reselect and it will continue to reselect until it gets a unique number. And whenever somebody calls bingo, I'll just hit reset, and all the numbers disappear. And that's it.